Here we go. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your Uncle Jesse. How you doing? Time for some brand new baseball, baby. 2019 Tops Heritage Baseball just came out today. We're going to go ahead and start off with a half case break for eBay. Uh, half case break number one. All righty. Let's start the show. I have not done this at all this year. This is brand new. A whole lot of variations and short prints and all that good stuff. Uh, luckily, I have done my research. And I know what to look for. Now, you guys already know, veteran base cards are not shipping. And we will be going through this with a fine comb. At the end of the night, I'm going to sort it out a little bit. And my sorters also know what to look for as well. So that'll be double, triple checked. And make sure that uh, short prints and variations and all that stuff go out to you. Uh, the thing with this is the only way to really know what it is. I mean, you can kind of look at the front of the card. And, you know, kind of guess your way. But the surefire way to know whether or not it's a variation or what is to look at the back of the card and look at the CMP code. Blob, this is an eBay break. His uh, heritage number one. This is heritage number one for eBay. Well, of course, veteran short prints ship, Fabrice. It's not veteran base, man. So all the short prints, of course, will ship variations, all that stuff. But veteran base cards will not. Period. No exceptions. So the Marlins really don't have any hits. I haven't looked at the checklist. I was too busy making sure I know what the variations and short prints and all that stuff are. Because there's a good amount in this set. There's the base short print. There's the French text. Error cards, trade cards, throwbacks, action images, team color swaps, and the nickname cards. From what I hear, the throwbacks are the the rarest of the bunch. See what we got in this first box. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. All right, so it's going to be a little tough for me because honestly, I have to look at the back of the card to tell what it is. Anything numbered one to four hundred is basically a uh, a base card. But again, I'm not familiar with this set, so. I am going to be, uh, oh, this is a scratch-off card. That's kind of cool. Interesting. You see how I'm stuck looking at the back of each card? Yeah, this, uh, this is going to take a while. I kind of wish they would put the codes on the front of the card. So 112. 
that is you know, it is just a a good old base card. The scratch off is one per box. Very nice. I think that might be an action image, but it's not. It's just a base card. Got a random these. There's two teams on there. All twins. to go through these I gotta write on that three teams on there that's gotta be a short print and it's not I'm just this stuff is uh is funky Code one twelve. That's not a. That's just a base card. Those are both rays. Trick of the Marlins, well, that's a base card. Cunha. There's an auto or a relic per box of this stuff. Got a random that. So as you can see, I get stuck looking at the back of like every other card. And I'll go through these again at the uh, end of the night before I leave the office to make sure that I did not miss any. And the easiest way is to just look at the back of the card, honestly. It's the only way, really. It would, Alex, but that would be way more expensive. Kershaw to 999 for the Dodgers. It would be easier to just ship everything, man. However, that would be stupid expensive. And we only charge $299 for shipping. And quite frankly, we would be out of business real quick. Because shipping is not cheap, brother. There is a relic for Otani of the Angels. What's up, Joe Pa? How are you? And we got a random these since they don't really they don't have a team. The flashbacks. Put that black aside with the other numbered card. Yep, tell me about it, Alex. Tell me about it. Especially when uh, we get stuck having to sort our own breaks sometimes. It's uh, not fun. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Mm-hmm. 
Jesus. That's a mustache on that guy. Boom, boom, boom. All right, that's one box down. Again, I'm going to go through all the veteran base cards. I'm going to go through every single card and make sure that I pull out all the variations and stuff if I, if I missed any. And I'm sure I missed some, you know? All right, coolsies. Uh, Joe Pop, I feel all right. I feel okay. Should be told, something about this office always makes my allergies go crazy. My nose is always stuffy. But that aside, I'm doing wonderful. I got a bit of a promo going, Joe Pa. I'm not sure if you know this, but uh, every break we fill on the site, one hitless spot will get a dice roll of their choice. So if you don't get an autograph, a patch, or a 101 in a heritage break that we have in the store tonight, one hitless spot will win a dice roll of their choice so if you don't get a hit and you win that hitless giveaway you could get a spot in the $34 dice roll or the 59 or the 79 it's your choice so hopefully we can knock out all the cases that we have in the store Yeah, Joe Pa, trust me, I, I, I already know. Base cards are numbered 1 through 400. 401 to 500 is the base short prints. Uh, French text is uh, number 93. Error cards are code 121. Trades are 122. Throwbacks are 123. Action images are 124. Team color swaps, 125. And the nicknames are 126. So, believe you me... I am well aware. It's just like you say. The only way to really know is to look at the back of the card. I think the rarest one is the throwback ones. I hear those are the toughest to hit. I know I'm Alex. It's just a bit of a pain as a breaker. You know what I mean? Having to go. The only way to really know again is to look at the back of the card. So, As a breaker, this is not one of uh, the easiest breaks to do. But it's fun. Landon, that is correct, man. We don't ship veteran base cards on our site, period. Unless we state so in the description. That is just a rule of thumb on the site. We do not ship veteran base. Same with eBay. That might be something. And it's not. That should be something. And it's that. How, how is that? Yeah, code 92, indeed, is just a good old base card. Look at that mustache on that guy. Yep, I'm going to have to go through this thing with a fine comb later tonight. Ooh, the scratch offs, which are one per box, that's kind of cool. And there's like French text on some of these. On the back of the card, there's like some French text on some of them. Pretty funky.
PBS. Got to rent them that. Awesome puzzle. French toast. The heck? I've actually never had French toast. What's up, Royce? How are you? I told my friends that a while ago. Just randomly. Never had French toast in my life. Here we go. Jose Abreu, White Sox patch. Hey, Josh. Uh, you, you ever heard of the saying, if you have nothing nice to say, uh, don't say nothing at all? You know? One of my favorite sayings, if you have a... Uh, you know, discretion is everything, brother. So I would have been happy with you just saying, hey, what's up, Uncle Jesse? And, you know, that's it. But no. To each their own, man. To each their own. Yes, Royce, this is still number one. I've never had French toast. No, never had French toast. Uh, I'm not really big on sweets. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't like, I, I'm not really a big fan of ice cream or anything like that. So French toast just never really, I don't know, just never really piqued my interest, if you will. But pancakes, on the other hand, or waffles, all day. Well, phase, I can't really tell you that because I can't look into the future. But what I can guarantee you is if you keep watching, you won't miss it because it's going to take place right after this break is done. Oh, no, nah, man. I just I, I just randomly said I've never had French toast. I like talking random stuff while I break. Especially a product like this so I don't lose my mind. Because that guy. All right. This is number one, uh, Aaron. This is number one. Number two will take place right after this. French toast is just a way to use old bread. I've I've heard I heard that it's it's like I don't know, man. I'll try it one day. I'm not too uh, like I said. I'm not too big on the sweets, so. I'm not exactly uh, chomping at the bit, if you will. Moses, that would be awesome if, if that if I could make that happen. If I could make that happen, I'm I'm just gonna walk out and just go home because I can I can do no better than that. Yeah, yo, woo, Aaron. Woo, love me some heritage, dog. I just, I really want to hit something nice. Because given all the amount of base cards there, there are in this stuff, the variations are pretty freaking sweet, not for nothing. Not yet, Aaron. I'm on my third box right now. So far, it's been straight 
patches. I got a patch a patch for Otani and a patch for Abreu. And this is the third box right now. Uh, we'll be opening the box toppers at the end as well. Oh, we got I gotta make a monster box as well to put all this stuff in. Nick Foles was a free agent? I don't know. I have no idea. That would be awesome news if, as a Dolphin fan. Hopefully we can make a move for him. Eagles are not going to franchise uh, franchise him. Yeah, hopefully the uh, the Dolphins make a move at him. Even though we're probably going to draft the quarterback in the first round, I still would like to have Nick Foles. Nice, Jeffrey. I would I would probably regret that too. <laughs> I would probably be crying. A black Jose Quintana for the Cubs there. I'm gonna have to go through all these boys at the end of the night. You know, I've read a lot on the Dolphins. I think we're, we're probably going to sign, uh, or I should say draft, Kyler Murray. I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. J.D. Martinez for the Red Sox to 999. I really don't know because he, I mean, he's a short kid. But I saw him play in college. I mean, he, he was lights out in college. But I don't know. I, th I think he might be better off playing baseball. Adrian Beltre, Rangers patch. But then again, you know, we are playing in a, in a NFL league now where you can't even you can't even tackle anybody. You can't even touch the quarterback. So there's a good chance he might be uh, he might be good in the pros. I just want the Dolphins to do something, man. Anything. I don't think the Cardinals are going to draft a quarterback. Everybody keeps saying that. Like, dude, they just they just spent a first-round pick on Rosen last year. Are they going to give up on him after one season? I don't think so. Like, and they pro if they're going to draft a quarterback, they're probably going to draft that kid out of uh, out of Ohio State. Whatever his name is. Dwayne Haskins, I think his name is. I bet I've missed a bunch of short prints. Which is why I will be double checking tonight.
Dude, if the Cardinals are really going to draft a quarterback with their first pick, they are going to have to trade Rosen or something. Like, they got to get something back for that guy. I read the Dolphins aren't trying to tank next season either. They want to be competitive, whatever that means. But, uh, you know, same thing as for Brees. I read that they're going to wait until the uh, 2020 draft to pick up a quarterback. I think the Dolphins should go for, Ro you know, try to sign Nick Foles. If we sign Nick Foles and Kyler Murray's available at the 13th pick, pick up Kyler Murray, you know, have him sit out a year or two, have him learn, you know, the the freaking the playbook and just learn from the sidelines kind of like how Aaron Rodgers did then again he had Brett Favre but that's a whole different ball game but you know Aaron Rodgers sat for a few years when he started he hit the ground running so that would be nice to see in my hypothetical uh, situation that I've come up with for the Dolphins we, we sign Nick Foles, we draft Kyler Murray, and we should be fine at quarterback. Aaron, I, honestly, I just, I don't see it. You know, how, to, to spend back-to-back -back first round picks on a quarterback? Like, that's, that's just not, to me, that's a sign of a franchise that has no idea where it's going. Which is probably where the Cardinals are at. I just, I, I don't think it's good for business. I think they should take the best player available, which is probably that Bosa kid. Yeah, and they need help on defense. Cardinals need help everywhere. Let, let's start with that. Cardinals need help on all sides of the field. Drafting another quarterback in the first round, not exactly going to help with that. I think they should go best player available. I think Rosen's going to be a solid quarterback. Just, you know, it's not his fault that his O-line is garbage. But hey, you're probably right, Aaron. We shall find out. When is the draft, anyway? I rolled this Chapman for the Yankees. A little uh, refractor mojo. My thing is this. You know, if you're going to draft a quarterback this, you know, in the first round, now you have two first-round rookie quarterbacks, essentially. Oh, this is the, the purple hot box here. I think they should go best available. But that's mainly because I, <laughs> I want Kyler to be available at the 13th pick. And I don't see the Dolphins moving up to, to pick a quarterback up anyway. So, We shall see. Baseball's going to start rolling. Baseball's already underway. And already the Marlins sucking. I think that might be a color swap. Nope, it's not. Code 92. Rosen played one year as a rookie with one of the worst offensive lines in all of football. And people are calling him a bust? Like, come on, people. What do you want from the kid? Joey Votto, Reds patch. You know Mayfield and Darnold, they have they have solid teams. You know, especially the Browns. People forget. You know, the year before, yeah, sure, they only uh, what, what they lost. I think they they didn't win a single game. But if you look at the games, they were all close games. They were all decided by like single digits, like less than a touchdown. So Browns had pieces. You know, all they needed was that quarterback to put them over the hump. 
Same thing with the Bills. If I'm not mistaken, Bills were a playoff team last year. So those comparisons are kind of eh, in my opinion. I think Rose is going to be good, man. I, I do. You just got to give him time. Like people hate, you know, Lamar Jackson. Yet he was the youngest player, the youngest quarterback to start a playoff game. But nobody's talking about that, though, right? That. A black Felix Hernandez Mariners. Soto. Oh, he was he was terrible, but guess what? Did he not have his team in a position to win at the end of the game? And we talk all this crap. But it, what happened in the fourth quarter? Did they not have a chance to win that game? And who put him in that position? Lamar Jackson. Plus the kid's 19, 20 years old. You guys need to have some patience when it comes to these players. Like, what were you doing when you were 19, 20 years old? Guarantee you weren't playing in a professional league, that's for sure. So you got to be patient with these young boys. It's, it's, it's not often that a player just hits the ground running out of college, especially at the quarterback position. That's a tough position to play. Running back, sure. You, know, you, you can kind of control your own fate there. Quarterback, not so much. You're at the mercy of the coach. Just a lot of variables. And you just, re you really need time in that position. All right, we got two boxes left. It feels like we just started. Dude, for Breeze, the Marlins are going to be a hot mess this year. Not even, like, Victor Victor hurt. I heard that our, our, our catcher, Alfaro, also got hurt. Like, uh, that, we're just going to be a hot mess this year. A hot, hot mess. Basketball on tonight. The Heat play the Warriors. I wonder how that's going to go. And the Lakers play the Pelicans. Aaron, you know what you sound like? You sound like a hater right now. You sound like a hater. Yes, Blob. Every uh, box has a box topper. I just wait to the end to break to, to open them. Give us something to look forward to. You know, but Aaron, I'll tell you what. As far as Dolphins are concerned, every Dolphins game sold out. So that's a big no right there. Uh, maybe the Marlins. Marlins suck. So they should get up out of here. And not for nothing, I was at the game on Monday. And... A good 80% of the stadium was filled. 
against the Suns, the worst team in the, the in the NBA. Mainly, mostly in part because it's Dwayne Wade's last season. But the you know the, 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 the we have a good uh was attendance record for the Heat, Dolphins as well. Marlins on the other hand, not so much. I could do without a baseball team. Hell, I could do without a hockey team. I have no idea why the Marlins, or I should say why Florida, has a hockey team. Uh, you know, I have a rule for that. If it doesn't snow, you shouldn't have a hockey team. And you're know, like, why? I, I don't see the point. But Uncle Jesse, you could play hockey without snow. Yeah, but is it really hockey? Or I mean, come on. But yeah, I mean, yeah, the, the beautiful thing about Miami is there is just so much to do. It's a beautiful thing. I I am the king hater. I will admit, you know. I, but I don't I don't hate. I call it like I see it. That's not hate. That's just that's observation. That's what that is. I am on box number five right now. How many championships did the Heat have? Uh, we have three. Did you forget about that somehow? The Dolphins have two. Hell, the Marlins have two. I, don't, I think it's the... Uh, I'm pretty sure the Florida Panthers do not have a Stanley Cup to their, na to their name. I could do without a hockey team. Truth be told, nobody cares about hockey in Florida. Yep, totally looking forward to going through all this stuff again later tonight to make sure that uh, any variations and uh, what not get pulled and sent to their homes, their rightful homes. Yeah, you gotta take a car to go see a, a, a hockey game. It's it's up there in, in Florida. I mean, it's not in Miami. That's why they're called the Florida Panthers. They they're pretty. They're up there. At least from Miami, like a good hour, hour and a half drive to get to the uh, the arena. I don't even know what it's called. I wouldn't mind watching a hockey game though. At least, at least I know my beer will stay cold. And hopefully I can see a fight. Giancarlo Stanton, number to what? 570 for the Yankees? That's interesting. Well, Landon, if you did your research, you would know there's no guaranteed autos in this stuff. It's either a relic or an autograph. And usually when that's the case, brother man... 80%, matter of fact, 90% chance is going to be a, a, a relic instead of an autograph. Hashtag, do your research. Always. You know, if you're looking for autographs and stuff like that, this is not the set you want to get into. If you're looking for variations and short prints and cool stuff like that, error cards and whatnot, this is the set for you. Especially if you don't mind, you know, looking at base card upon base card upon base card upon base card upon base card. Aaron, you know, you'd be surprised, dude. You know, the tickets to Marlins games are pretty cheap. And the stadium is absolutely gorgeous. Clint Kershaw Dodgers patch. Not for nothing, I, I actually, I want to go to a game. And I will go to a game uh, at some point this year. I, I dude, I like you know. I grew up playing baseball. It's you know one of my favorite sports. I don't watch it anymore. 
because it's just I just I don't have the uh, mental fortitude to sit there and watch a 2000 game season no thank you it's like you said I'm in Miami I got better things to do out here just ask uh, you know ask what's his name Robert Kraft <laughs> Technically, that wasn't in Miami. That was in, like, Jupiter. Alright, so we have three, like, three big box stoppers and three of the 1970s cards. <sighs> Febreze, man, let me know. I mean, if you want, shoot me an email. We'll exchange numbers or whatever. And, dude, I'm down to go with you. I'm down to go with you to a game. I'll take you to a nice little local spot here. If you like to eat, you know, I'll treat you to a little uh, Palacio de los Hugos, which is a local spot here in Miami. And uh, the portions are out of this world. You'll pay like $10 and you'll have enough, feed to, you'll have enough food to feed a village. Aaron, you know, Aaron, you are not lying. I mean, you are not lying. Listen, I would gladly give you the Florida Panthers. I would gladly give it to you. But you're not taking my Dolphins. And you're not taking my Heat. In a few years, I'll give you the Marlins. When we decide to sell them. Well, Jamie, it's like I said before. If you're looking for autographs, this is not the set for you. Point blank, period. I haven't done a full case of this. This is only a half caser. It's been straight relic so far. And I'm just talking shit here. But it would not surprise me if there's only two, maybe three autographs in a full 12 box case. Oh, snap, Fabrice. I want to get tickets to the last home game for the Heat. And I don't know when that is. I got to look up the schedule. Pretty sure we're not making the playoffs. So I definitely got to watch his, his uh, last regular season game. Hell, if his last game is in Orlando, I'll make that drive to Orlando. It's only three hours away. Anyways, last box mojo here. Hopefully we can hit us an autograph. Or I can actually find the short print or something. I'm sure I've skipped a bunch, I'll be honest. And quite frankly, the only way to really know is to look at the code on the back of the card. Which we will be doing uh, later tonight. I'll make sure that any short prints or variations go out like that has to be an action image like it has to be and it is code 124 Mike Trout of the Angels see at least I found one like you can kind of just tell on some of them otherwise not so much uh, and Landon negative man we, we only combine shipping for breaks that take place uh, or I should say for same-day auctions. We do not combine shipping uh, for auctions ending on different dates. Quite frankly, it's the only way we can afford to do breaks on eBay. The fees are ridiculous. Jordan Hicks, Cardinals to 570 So to answer your question, we only combine shipping for uh, auctions ending on the same day. If they end on different dates, we do not combine shipping. There's an autograph. Colby Allard for the Braves. Little on card rookie auto. There you go. Very nice. Well, at least I found one action image. 
I'm sure there's others in here, other different sharpens and whatnot. All those flashback cards I will be randoming here once I finish up. I'm just going to send them to one team. Yeah, I bet the Kobe's last game was stupid expensive. Did you actually go to that game, Aaron? I mean, I don't, I don't expect uh, Dwayne to go off the same way. You know, I'll be lucky if he puts up twenty points. I just want to be there and say, "Yep, I was there when D Wade retired, the greatest basketball player." To ever put on a, a heat uniform. And I'm, I'm probably going to cry. Probably going to shed a thug tear. Or two. <coughs> Forgot I got to random those too. Oh, Heritage Baseball. You are so much fun. No, nah, dude, I already know Dwayne's last game is going to be expensive. Especially in Miami. Everybody's going to come out for that one. Just DJ Khaled and everybody. Little everybody coming out. Everybody coming out the woodworks. Especially if we don't make the playoffs. Everybody in the mama going to be out there. Me too. I'll be in the nosebleeds. Shit. Even if it's like $40, I'll gladly pay that to go stand up in the nosebleeds. No problem. I've been there before, and it's not that bad. You can actually see everything. It's not that bad. Two to $300 already? Oh, but that's not in the nosebleeds, though. I'll pay 50 bucks to stand on the nosebleeds. No problem. Bryce Harper talking to the Giants again. <coughs> Talk about undecided. I don't blame him either. <coughs> you paid $300 a ticket for Kobe's last game and you were in the nosebleed. Well, then again, that's the Lakers. And that is in L.A. Even I would not dare to compare the Lakers franchise to the Heat. That is just foolish. And uh, that's going to do it for the break. Now, there are a few things I need to random. Ryan, luckily for you, I'm at the end. So you don't have to suffer through the entire break. And I'm going to do a recap of it here shortly. So stay tuned. Some of these have three teams. Some of them have five. Some have two. Some have four. So I need to uh, make sure these go to the right homes. We will be randoming these. And the way I do it is, is very simple. You know, I'm all about making my life easy. All right, coolsies. All right. So here's the deal. As you can see, we got a team on the left and on the right. So for this, real simple. I'm going to roll a die. If I get an odd number, I'm going to matter of fact, I'm going to roll this one. If I get an odd number, no, I'm going to stick with my original gut. I'm, I'm don't worry, I'm I'm weird. I'm gonna roll, if I roll an odd number, it's going to go to the left side team. If I roll an even number, it's going to go to the right side team. So odd left, even right, odd left, even right. Here we go. Number six, even. So this is going to go to the right side team. So this will be A's, Nationals, Brewers, Rockies, Astros, Astros, and the Royals. 
All right, let me uh, make a note of this. So my sorters know what exactly what's up. Now these are going to be a little trickier. These have three teams. So for these, <clears throat> I'm going to assign numbers. So the team on top will be one, bottom left two, bottom right t uh, three. One, two, three. Reroll the number six. I'm going to double that. We're going to go 12 times in the randomizer. And whatever number comes ahead, we'll be receiving these uh, cards here. So let's put this on the screen. Here we go. Let's blow that up. All right. I'm going to put each number down twice to make it, you know, a little bit more of an actual random. <coughs> Top number gets the, uh, the, t the hits here. So here we go. Going 12 times. And the money shot 12. Boom. Number 12. Top number is the number 1. And this is the number 1. So this will be Astros, A's, Rays, Rays, Mets, Astros, A's, Brewers, Rays, Nationals, Red Sox, Red Sox, Nationals, Rays, Brewers, A's, Brewers, Astros, Rays, Red Sox, Nationals, Red Sox, Rays, Red Sox, and Mets. Then we have four team cards and five team cards. Okay. So for this one, we have four teams. Same deal, just assign numbers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, these are all the same. So this will be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Since I don't have multiples, I'm just going to give them all to one team. I have decided. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put each uh, number down twice. Again, to make it more of a fair random. I'm going 12 times. Top number gets these. And the money shot 12. Boom. So the number two, so this is the number two right here. So this goes to the Rockies. So it would have been one, two, three, four. That goes to the Rockies. And now for the five team cards. So one, two, three, four, five. And there's different cards there, but I'm gonna give them all to one. So one, two, three, four, five. Again, I'm gonna put down each number twice because I'm superstitious that way. Twelve times, here we go. I did not, Brian. Did you know that Jason puts that in the store and not me? And the money shot 12. Boom. 12 times. The number 5. So the number 5 would be the last team here. So this one will be Phillies, Rockies, Phillies, Rockies. There you go. That's that.
All right. Got that done. Now, the last thing we need to random. I got you, Scout. Hey, I got a few things to random here. So we got these flashback cards. None of these have a team. So we're going to give them one. You mean the Colts, Brian? The Chiefs should be in there. I mean, I don't know. Uh, yes, Louise. Can, can I do my thing, people? Sheesh. All right, now for the flashback cards. This has to be random amongst everyone. So do the old copy. Paste. This is for the flashback cards. Here we go. Gonna go 12 times. Top team gets the flashbacks. And the money shot 12. Anytime now. Boom. That's correct, Brian. That's the way she goes, brother. Dodgers at the very top. So the flashback cards are going to the Dodgers. Boom. So that's the last of the stuff I needed to random. Now, Louise, if it's all right with you, I'm going to open up the top box toppers. Let's see what we got in this stuff. We got Robert Wine for the Expos. Kind of missed the cut there. The uh, I know, right, Alex? The uh, the Expos, if I'm not mistaken, are the Nationals. We have Mike Andrews, Red Sox. We have for the Yankees, Joe Verbonic. All right, there's that. What's in here? Oh, that's kind of cool. That's pretty sweet, actually. Now, that's not an actual autograph, but it goes to the Tigers. Al Kaline. Let me uh, keep it in the wrapping here. Really, Brian? You, you know that's done on purpose, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> for the Red Sox, Mookie Betts. It's a cool looking box topper. And last but not least, nice. A trout for the Angels. Cool looking box topper. Very nice. Very, very nice. And that, my friends, is going to do it for the break. So, recap. Yes, indeedy. This is what we got. So, we got Kershaw Dodgers patch. Votto. Reds patch. Beltre Rangers patch. Abreu White Sox patch. Otani for the Angels patch. We got an action image for Mike Trout of the Angels. Pretty nice. Action image right there. And the lone autograph for Kobe Allard of the Braves. There you go. And that's the break. Thank you very much.